thank God for Google, I guess, because I didn't even know what a diamond tee was. Um, my name's Kale Lohr. I'm from uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. It's a 1947 Diamond T 404, which is a ton and a half or two ton truck. The only thing of the truck is the sheet metal. Everything else is new modern chassis, new motor, drivability, stuff like that. It's one off custom that you ain't gonna see another one like. I wanted a rat rod and I wanted something that was different. We built it to be drivable and have fun with and turn heads. The biggest thing I liked about it was the top. Looks like it's already chopped from the factory. They're very rare, very hard to come by. Real nice farmer guy out in South Dakota. Had this one in the barn. He'd already started it as, as a project and it was just sitting there. It was a work truck. You know, back then they bought trucks and they used them. They used them to death. It might have hauled hay or corn or who knows what, you know. But yeah, the biggest reason I bought it is it's not rusty. And most any truck from back then, they're all rusted to death. Well, this one was out in the Midwest where nothing ever rusts, it seems like. I just wanted to come see all the different stuff because I've seen it online, I've, you know, and I, I love that people bring out stuff that aren't, you know, like this. It's, it's something different, you know, something unique that didn't come with an LS and they customized it, made it their, their own, you know. They're actually off of a uh, Sterling a semi truck. We had them machined down. Like I said, it's a Chevy one ton frame, so they make an adapter for dually pickup trucks to go from the eight lug Chevrolet to a 10 lug semi. And then what we actually did from there was we were sitting around one night, my brother said, man, I got a great idea. Cause like he did all my fabrication stuff. He said, let's knock five of the studs out and just make it a five lug. And it'll look like the old two ton trucks from the forties and the fifties and stuff because the Art Deco looking fenders and the, you know, all that stuff, it just, I wanted it all to flow and, and look right. So we tried to, we tried to disguise the motor differently. I didn't want just the plastic, you know, intake and this and that. So we tried to disguise it and then also fitting in the turbo plumbing and the turbo wiring and all that stuff. You know, it was, it was a challenge and we painted it, you know, to make it look older. And then we did some other things, you know, we did the old school looking valve covers Man, I get all kinds of questions as far as, is it a diesel, is it this, is it that? They, they have no idea. And, and that's the, the fun of it and the beauty of it is to keep people guessing, you know? It's a driver. Uh, problem is we have too much horsepower and too much weight on the back end slinging around. But that's what I built it for is to have fun with it and go out and beat on it and play with it. And, but the thing is you can't go to a gas station you can't go out to eat and people are just, they flock to it, you know? And that's the cool thing about it, you know? It stands out. You know, I had like an old Nova back in high school. I always had some old pickup trucks and this and that. But as I got older, I was like, man, I want to do something cool. I want to build a rat rod. So this is, this is it, you know? This is the accumulation of all my crazy ideas that kept me awake at night, so.